Hi, my name is David Taverner, and today we're going to be talking about something I totally love, astrophotography. Uh, in this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing. Uh, we have three things here. Uh, first, we have the ZWO ASI 2600mm Pro. Pretty high-end camera. I'm really excited. We have seven Antlia filters. So that's LRGB and SHO. And we also have the electronic uh, filter wheel right here. Uh, so let's get started on this unboxing and we're gonna also assemble it and see how that goes. All right, here we go. Let's start with the camera itself. All right, here it is. There it is. Great, let's, let's unbox it. We have a couple pieces of tape here to take off. Pretty exciting. It's coming off. There we go. Lid is off. Just put the lid right there. Okay, this is what this is what you see when you open it right here. Uh, a little bit of plastic. Put that there. All right, you have one cord. Must be a 3.0. It's got the blue in the middle. It's kind of a longer cord. So that'll be useful. A little bit of a shorter cord, connect it to one of the accessories. All right, and the camera itself, here we go. It's a hefty one. Look at that. I mean, still relatively light. Uh, pretty good. Open that in a second. Just to show you what else is in here. We have uh, M42 to M48 right there. Put that here. Uh, a couple of other adapters. Some more cords. The Allen wrench, useful. Manual, might take a look at that. And another adapter. All right, great. I'm gonna put all that back in the box for later. All right, this is the camera itself. Let's open this up. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Man, this is substantial. It's like a DSLR or something. Look at that. Looks pretty good. Pretty good size fan. It's pretty wide. So like this is, this is my hand here. About the size of your hand. Looking pretty great. Excited for that. All right. We will leave that in its bag. Come back to that in a minute. Put that there. All right, let's uh, take a look at these Antlia filters. These are, the, these are the big boys. These are the three nanometer. So oh, make a lot of noise. Okay, pretty nice case here. Pretty high end. Look in, got the reflective coating on the outside. A uh, little description on the bottom. So this is the oxygen O3, three nanometer. Looks like it comes with little uh, instructions and descriptions there. That's good to know. Okay, and we also have this one. We got the H alpha, three nanometer. Again, these are all 36. You need to go 36 if you go 2600. It's a big boy. Of course, you can also do two, two inch if you like, but from what I hear, 36 is good enough. So that's, that's what we have here. And then S2, that's the last one. All right. Great. Here we go, we got the 
LRGB. Open it up. Got your blue, green, red, and luminous. Put that out front. Boom. Beautiful. With that, we'll be able to get color images. It'll be pretty exciting. All right, so this is how this looks. Just open it up. Here we go, it just comes out like that. This will be the side that the camera goes on where this, this bump is. Um, great. Uh, I'm gonna take out this little pad, put it here, and rest it on it. Uh, a couple of things that you get in here, get another adapter. Uh, some, some cords. Great, make sure to keep track of those. Um, another adapter. Uh, these are important. These are these are what's going to hold down the filters themselves. I'm going to put those with the filters. And we also have screws. Those are important. And these little black screws. I'm sure those go with the with the filters. They even give you a tool here. Nice little screw. I'm sure. It's the same size as the other ones. All right. Cool. Got all that stuff. Great. Close this box up. Put it over here. Perfect. Boom. Okay. So that is the unboxing. We have it all unboxed. The next stage is to take apart this electronic filter wheel and then start loading in the filters. Great, that, well, that, that's awesome. Um, totally unboxed, we're ready to start installing. So to do that, um, I have two, two gloves here just to uh, make sure I don't smudge any of the filters. Uh, I have my own screwdriver kit here if I need it. They provided one, which is nice of them. Even a mask, but uh, I'm not gonna wear a mask today. But um, if I wasn't talking to you now, I'd be wearing the mask. And put on these gloves. They are powder free. You definitely want a powder free glove for this. It's a big moment, it's pretty exciting. Oh, this is some pretty high-end stuff. I've never gone this high-end. I've been a fan of astro photography, and uh, I have the 294MC Pro. Um, that's been really good. Uh, really good camera. Take great pictures with that, but this is definitely on another level as that, at least for Nebula and things like that. So I'm going to unscrew. This top part here, I'm just gonna put it over here with the box so I don't lose that. Bring it over here. And at this point, we're going to start attaching the filters to the wheel itself. Now this is a painful process, potentially. Uh, so go ahead and, uh, if you could bear with me, I'd appreciate it. Uh, but at this point, uh, a couple of key things that we're gonna need, this screwdriver they provided. Uh, we have a blower, if you've ever uh, done astrophotography before, or really any kind of photography, you'll know, you know what this is about. Uh, put that over here. And uh, just to reflect, uh, this is the side that the camera's gonna go on. So uh, this is the side where the anti-reflective coating should be. Uh, so the more reflective side will face this side. Uh, so it'll be facing up in this case. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and start taking off the screws. All right, so let's take the plate off. There it is, all right. 
All right, so this is what the inside looks like. This is the electronic part of it down here. Um, and nice, it's nice to have the electronic part in here because some of them have a dial here and it, it creates an opening where dust can get in. Not ideal, if you can help it. Now how I'm going to do it, there's, I don't know if you can tell, but there's these numbers on here. Get that out of the way. There's these numbers on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is seven. Sometimes they come in eight. Um, honestly, I'm not sure what the eight would be. But uh, here's all the primary thing, all the primary filters you would use. Uh, so I'm just going to do the LRGB SHO. Pretty standard configuration in that way. All right, so L. These Antlia filters actually come in a really nice box. Look at, look at that. And I've, off, I've held off opening these until now, just because when you open it, you know, game on. You know, you know, dust is going. So, taking out this guy here. That's a really nice case. Magnetized and everything. Whew, buddy. Okay. So, this little tab here I'm going to use to open it. amount of touching the better it's really hard to say but especially probably where you're looking but one side is definitely more purple and one side is definitely more green so I'm not sure if it really matters uh, feel free to leave comments below if you think it does and disagree but I'm just going ahead and install it in the old way all right Going to install this bad boy here. Just be careful not to smudge the lens. Very obvious on the red. When you look straight at it, it's much more illuminated on one side than the other. Again, the bottom's on the camera side. You want the reflective side facing the telescope. Let's go ahead and we're gonna drop it in. Okay, this is definitely easier to tell with with the S. One is a literal mirror, and then the other is red. So feel more confident in the S. Drop that in. Okay, at this point, we've attached all the filters, uh, all the, the covers, and we're going to put the case back on. Um, I'm not quite done with this in the real world. I'm going to do another cleaning on it, but uh, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to be done for now so I can finish up.
Okay, in the case of uh, my camera system, I came with this, or the filter wheel came with this uh, adapter here, which I'm gonna install now. Now at this point, you can take the camera itself. Here it is, big boy. Take the cover off. Give it a good dusting. And then it just screws on. Now at least with my current configuration, that's about all there is. So here we go, this is the whole system. You have the camera, the plate here, there's an adapter in between and it hooks right onto this filter wheel here. And after that, you just, I would take this off, this is temporary, hook it straight up to the telescope and then you're off to the races. Um, hope you enjoy this video and if you like this kind of content and want to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe. Thank you.